Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly the last two days. We found support here at the 20. Uh, 40 expansion moving average just above that and now we have rallied roughly 0.8 percent so we're trading at 1362 at this current stage and i think that our target at this point will be these previous highs so 1371.02 that is going to be our target for this currency pair so what happened here was that the us dollar started depreciating we found support right here just above the 20 40 expansion moving average and we have done that uh, several times in, in the last few months uh, or a month and a half, I would say. And same goes for the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. So all of these three, these three moving averages have been very supportive in the past. And we are just seeing a continuation of this. So what this means that uh, most likely we will go towards these highs. And if we break these highs, then we are actually going higher. I have no interest in basically shorting this uh, because I think that we are going to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, and they are merely all of them turning around. We can see that uh, Sarcastic has turned around, almost crossing the signal line. We can see that CCI has, across the, has turned around. The RSI is flat and the MACD is bearish still. But if you look at the bullion bond, this is a very clear indication where we most likely are going. And that is basically the top of the bullion bond, which is also these previous highs so our target um if we decide to basically enter this we should have entered it here so we haven't a position in this yet but the target here would be these previous highs and yes so let's look at the us dollar yen as you can see there's nothing really has happened here but i do believe that we are going to see if we basically cross these moving averages here this will drop all the way down to these previous lows so 102, uh, uh, 102, 596 is basically our target for this market. So we may enter this market if we see that we are starting to break, the, break down below these moving averages. So we have the 50, 40, and the, and the 20, all of them same at the same place. And are, they are all three acting as support at this moment. But we are at the top of the range and we have been in this move in the, for basically several months now nine months now all the way back into march last year we have been in this downward channel and at this point we are at the top of the channel and that is most likely we're going to break down because we tried to rally above we just could not break through here and that means that we'll fall towards the bottom at some point technical indicators are turning around for example the sarcastic has turned around we can see that macd is becoming flat the rsi is still bullish and the cci is flat so it, when we basically break through the middle here of the bullish band, we will drop all the way to the bottom. And that is basically to these very lows. So no interest is basically uh, buying this whatsoever. So let's look at the euro US dollar. As you can see, we have rallied a little bit today. We found the resistant here at the 50, 40 exponential and we had the 20 exponential right up above. Um, at this point, I think that it is very likely that we are going to test these previous highs so this is a move of roughly 1.89 percent so it's a fairly massive move so technical indicators are turning around we are on the edge of being oversold so there's not a lot of room to the downside i don't think that we'll break down towards 100 here we could i just think it's very unlikely when considering that these indicators here are turning around we have been at the bottom here of the bullish band we turned around we're going at least to the middle of the bullish band and that is above the 20 exponential here so the middle of the bullish band is roughly uh 12 uh, 21 and that is uh, i th would be a minimum that we this uh, currency per, uh, pair will rise but trade here to the very highs that is very likely i don't think that we are going to go lower here but if you trade this i would consider having i would put a stop loss right underneath these previous lows and then target these highs. 
So let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. As you can see, we have broken, well, down again. We still haven't entered this channel, uh, but we haven't broken down significantly. We're still right at the uh, 20 exponential at this point. We may go towards the bottom of the bullion band. That would be uh, roughly at uh, just above the 40 exponential. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly uh, bearish at this point. Sarcastic is bearish, the MACD is bearish, and the RSI, CCI. So it may well be that we'll drop towards the 40 exponential and then rally from there. We have done that before, um, way over here, before we basically entered this rally. But um, if we break the 40 and the 50, that opens the door to the 100 moving average. But I don't think that we are going to see that. As soon as the US dollar starts depreciating again, like it did today, this should this currency bear should go much, much higher. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We have rallied a little bit and then broke down. And then we are right at the 20 exponential moving average. At this point, I think that we are going towards these, this bottom again. I don't see this rallying through all of these moving averages. Um, if you look at technical indicators, they are becoming very flat. So momentum to the upside is basically... Well it's, well, it's not really there at this current stage. So my bet is basically towards 12.62 and um, a, um, um, a stop loss right up above here, the 50 moving average and a target of these very lows. This is not a massive trade. However, if we break these previous lows, that means we're going significantly lower. And there's a lot of room to the downside because RSI is only at is basically at 53. So if this breaks, then we are going significantly lower. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.